This video is showing you how to take standalone listings in your Amazon inventory and merge them into a variation listing. I have a bunch of women's polo shirts. Um, I had them merged at one point in time and then somehow they were unmerged. So what I did was um, there was one that actually had a variation, um, the ability to make a variation with the drop down box. So I clicked edit and then when it opened, what I did was I went into the variations tab and I added every single size and color that I wanted to merge. The key here is that you need to have them in your existing inventory in order to merge them. If you don't have them in your existing inventory and you're just adding a new variation mixed in with the ones that you're merging, you can just add the new variations in here the way you usually do. But when you're merging, I've done all of them except a few. I have uh, Lagoon Blue in large and go to my inventory and I want to merge this one as a standalone and I want it to be on a variation. So normally you add a UPC when you're creating a variation, but in this sense, because I'm merging it, I'm going to add my the ASIN of the product that I want to merge. Now the reason why it has to be in your inventory if you're merging it, so you'll just add it to your inventory, is because you also need to grab your seller SKU so Amazon knows exactly what it's merging to. So in this second row here, this is for your SKU, you add your SKU. So I left a couple, uh, white large, same thing, I will copy the ASIN, go into edit product, put the ASIN right there, and I could just go back and forth, copy the SKU, go back over here, paste the SKU, and then um, I also had navy in large left, so I once again I'll copy the ASIN. And always copy the SKU. If you forget the SKU, it's not going to merge it. It has to be in your inventory with the SKU. Now, if I for some reason had, you know, a quadruple X in black and it wasn't currently listed on Amazon and I wanted to add it, I would just do the normal way, even with inside the merge. I would just pick, you know, UPC, add it with no SKU, and um, so you can add new variations and merge variations um, all at the same time. So I have two that I wanted to take out, um, and then as you can see, it's populating, and what it's done is it's telling me what it's going to be matched to. So the merge, it's recognizing all the variations. Now normally when you put in a UPC, and it recognizes it and this pops up it does it doesn't give you the option to save and finish because it wants you to use that listing now I can save and finish this now because I've merged it properly and Amazon is recognizing that I've done it properly by giving me the ability to click save and finish now that I've saved and finished it it could take a little bit of time but what will happen is I will be able to have all of the sizes and colors show up on the same listing and then while I'm in here I can you know edit my description or you know keywords and click save and finish and then um, probably within a few minutes uh, hopefully it'll populate fast enough and I will have my drop down with every single variation and I will help all the sellers on the listing because if somebody can land on that listing and find you know every color in the size they want they may be more inclined to buy multiples so but just always make sure that you are merging the same style and name brand item because you don't want to mess up other sellers listings you know merging things that don't go together um, I'm sure that it's not going to populate fast enough for me to show you while I'm here, but um, there will be just a drop down box and it'll have all the variations once Amazon gets around to actually um, processing the change. So that's how you merge standalone listings um, to 
a variation listing. Thank you.